Oh, my name's Pete Ward and here are today's highlights with the game against Bootle.
Thanks very much uh, for joining us back in Harrison Park and joining us live is the League Town manager Neil Baker. Neil, that was a heartful win. Yeah, I was uh, quite encouraged. I thought that's the best, we, the best football we played for weeks. Lovely balance to the side today. And, and, yeah, and needed that uh, because, you know, without say, speaking the obvious, we haven't been at the best for five or six games. I'm not saying we're at our best today, but we're nearer to. And I can accept that we we actually played her, how we trained. So I was uh, I was pleased. We set off at a great pace, really good tempo. Our balls into the box weren't weren't great, uh, but it was encouraging. And um, so we went one 0 down. And that was a bad goal to concede, wasn't it? No, because we allowed him to keep uh, keep you up a little bit, isn't it? No, Before he put it in. Uh, but he didn't that, unsettle them. Neil. It, 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 it didn't right. fall from it. Uh, I, I, I was probably more concerned than they were because I don't think we've got a lot of goals in the team which previous results have, have proven that but you know Danny Danny looks something like you know it's four games back it's taken him a while but he looked something like today uh, Amal came in and gave us a bit of something different we never know what he's going to do so Do you think he does sometimes? No no, and I, I say he can look like a circus act at times, juggling and keeping up and doing his step overs. But he's a good kid, he keeps going and he got his reward with the goal. He did, and it was a good performance, wasn't it? Like you say, sometimes you don't, we don't know if he knows what he's doing. So if he doesn't, the opposition certainly don't do that. Right, uh, and neither do his teammates, which is a concern. But uh, listen, he's come through, played 75, 70, 75 minutes, got us a goal, been instrumental in a lot of our good play, so I'll settle for that. And Louis Short looked good on the left again going forward? Yeah, he did. Uh, Lewis always contributes something. Uh, it's, it's a matter of keeping him fit all the time and playing the games. Uh, the likes are included him on Tuesday, but he was suffering a little bit. Um, and the second game in a, in a week has proven a little bit too much for him. But he does always gives the team something, uh, at, at least balance as you say. It was good uh, to see that, like as you said, Danny Tricky Smith uh, get back into some sort of form. And when he gets that ball and he, he's looking to shift his onto his right foot, you know what's going to happen and, and he could have a better shot for his, his first goal. Well, it was a terrific goal and he was in a good position to shoot. 
and, and he was nicely balanced. Now, Tuesday night, he, he wasn't. He was shooting off balance and from longer range where I didn't think there was much chance of scoring. Uh, but we know he's got that in his locker and, uh, you know, he's, he, he's looked something near to his best today. For a second, when we got here today, we know that you were going through some drills with the players and we saw Mark Grocott out there and we thought, hmm, aye, 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 but he didn't come on. But at least when he was kicking the ball out, he didn't look as if he was in any discomfort whatsoever. No, he stepped up. Uh, he's joined in the warm-ups for the last couple of games. He trained on Thursday night and did everything that the other players did. Uh, he was keen to go on the bench today. Um, I just thought it's a week too early. I want to see if he's had a good session today. He'll train Tuesday and Thursday. Hopefully, if there's no uh, no repercussions, he'll uh, he'll be available for next Saturday, which is really pleasing. How hard is it going to be to move Tom Edge out of the side because again another rock solid game from him? He's doing all right, Tom. Uh, he doesn't. He's only been with us a few weeks, so he isn't clued into everything we do, particularly on the defensive side of his game. But he's, uh, he uses the ball well. Uh, and, and that move at the end, when he had a, he, he actually played it square across goal, where I thought he could have shot and scored from where we were. Uh, but he's getting better with every, uh, with every game. Tell us about the new addition, because we didn't see you last week in, in, in line. Uh, where did he come? We know he's been with Altrincham. He's with Altrincham. Um, and Peter spoke to them about, have we got a midfield player? Because we were a little down on numbers. And he says, yeah, we've got a lad. He isn't in the team, but he trains with us. And I'm uh, looking forward to seeing him play next season. He says, you can have him. Um, and, and the first couple of weeks he trained, Sorry, the first couple of sessions he trained really well. Came on at Colm last week, should have scored twice. Had two great chances, 1v1 against the goalkeeper. Um, he'll tell me he's playing out of position, he wants to play in central midfield, but I'm quite well covered in there. And, and these players that come on and say, oh, I want to play here and I want to play there. Well, you've got an opportunity. Wherever you go on the pitch, you've got an opportunity. Um, you know, if you're saying to me, I can't play out there, and I'll say to you, well, don't expect to get in the team. Go out and, you know, you, you know the role, perform it and, and do it. He, he didn't do as well when he came on. Um, but, you know, he's a young lad. He's another one that doesn't know quite how we play. And, uh, you know, you've got to take that into consideration. A lot of encouragement, though, for next week. I thought so. I, I really was encouraged. Uh, we could do with Will getting a goal. It's been a long time when we we really needed him uh, without Robin and, and Tim. But I thought there was some, most of them, you know, it's one of them where they all contribute and you get a good team performance and generally you win games. So that, that was encouraging. I got a lot of players are playing something like today. And uh, that was a, a win in spite of some uh, of the officials that we've seen down here and again we've had a we've had one today that's that's left us oh, it's left him who's a qualified referee rubbing his head a few times which he can't afford to do he's losing his head at the best of times but uh, some strange things going on yeah, there, there is most weeks we had one last week at Colm and, and one the week before at Leith and listen, they are what they are and they'll make decisions and we've got to accept them it's not easy at times but you know, they, they are uh, they're the custodians of the game. They run the game, and we've got to abide by their decisions, whether we whether we like it or not. Thanks for joining us, Neil. Once again, congratulations! It was a great win. It was a thoroughly entertaining game to watch and to commentate on. Good. Cheers. Lovely. Thanks. That's uh, Neil. Thank you.